My name is Brent Campbell, and I'm on the launch team here at UCity. Today, I'll be sharing our UCity moment with you around stepping into the unknown and faith. I have this touch and go relationship with nature, which essentially means when it touches me, I go inside. Uh, we do not get along. Uh, but there was this one time. I'm driving home from a conference through the Blue Ridge Mountains, and I, I'm wrestling with God because it feels like he's asking me to forgive someone that is not deserving of it, who completely treated me like trash. And, and, and I just didn't get it. It felt like God was being selfish. I didn't get what he was asking for or why he was asking it. So I did what I normally do, and I avoided him. But unfortunately, it was the mountains, so I had no Spotify, no podcasts, no music, nothing to really distract myself with. And constantly, over and over, I, I feel like the Lord is asking me to turn my attention to Him, but I, I don't want to, because I have a sense of what He's going to say. Either way, I, I end up driving around this bend. Uh, up until this moment, there's been trees on every side, but I, I take this corner and the trees break and all I can see is this amazing sunset. The Blue Ridge Mountains in the background, purples and blues and pinks like I've never seen anymore. The sun setting behind them. I mean, it was like a painting. I've never experienced nature like this, like this before. And I had this little bit of insight. The artist is always more worthy of attention than the art. And it just shook me. I realized like, man, how could I be in awe of this sunset that God made while avoiding him, the one who made it? Uh, it, it didn't make sense. So, so I turn my attention to the Lord and uh, I pray. And I feel like one of the first things that comes up in prayer is God saying, Brent, what if this isn't about your obedience? What if I want you to trust me? Maybe he was trying to do something more, something better in me than I could even understand. Maybe God just wanted me to trust him and see. It reminds me of this story in Luke 5. Peter, who is a brand new follower of Jesus, doesn't completely know who he is yet, but had some experiences with him. Peter is a fisherman. And uh, Jesus comes to him after Peter has fished all night long and caught nothing. And he asks Peter to take a risk. He asks him to fish again. And, and now, now this is crazy. I mean, he's tired. It's, it's been a long night. There's no reason to trust Jesus whatsoever. But he's seen a, enough of Jesus to say, I'm willing to try. And so he does. And, and the end of the story is amazing. Peter has this miraculous catch of fish. Uh, it catches more fish than he could have ever caught in his lifetime. At the end of the story, the secret of Peter's life is revealed. That even though Peter had spent all of his time, energy, and attention on becoming a fisherman, even though it was all he knew, all he prepared for, every skill in his life was for fishing, even though that's all he knew, that's not actually what Peter was made for. Jesus tells him that Peter was actually made for something more. He says, Peter, even though you've been fishing for fish, I actually want you to fish for people. This risk that Jesus was asking Peter to take wasn't just about Jesus being obeyed. It was actually about Peter coming to understand that God wanted to complete him. That everything he thought he was for wasn't actually quite true. That God knew, and God knew because he'd made him. God knew what Peter was for. He was stepping into the unknown. He was actually stepping into purpose. That's what God wanted to do with Peter. And it's what he wants to do with you and me, too. There will be times in faith where the only thing you're sure of is what you're losing. And the master will call to you anyways and ask you to trust. Because he knows what you don't. He knows that stepping into purpose often feels like stepping into the unknown. He knows what you're made for. He knows what he started in you and what he's intended to complete. Will you let him?